Hello folks, my name is Muhammad Ali and I'm a Principal Specialist SA at AWS. Today, I'm going to introduce an AWS solution called Centralized Logging with OpenSearch. The solution helps organizations collect, ingest, and visualize log data from many AWS services or your custom applications or log sources. The solution offers a web-based console which you can use to create log ingestion pipelines with just a few clicks. This brings down the time to build a log analytics solution from few days to just 20 minutes. So let's say I'm a retailer and I'm hosting a book and toy store website in EKS cluster and I'm using AWS application load balancer to route the traffic to my EKS cluster. And I have a web application firewall in place to wet the traffic. My static content will be served to my user through my content distribution network, Amazon CloudFront. And I have an RDS database that contains my orders and product catalog. We have two microservices in EKS. One is an Nginx server and the other one uses Spring Boot. I'll use Amazon Open Search Service for my log analysis and all, and all of this is already in place and deployed in my AWS account. And now all I want is my logs to be in Open Search in the next 20 minutes. So let's get started. So I'll start by logging into centralized logging solutions web console which i've already deployed in aws account we'll start by importing open search domain that we want to send the logs to we will choose open search os domain as our target and select all the other automatic options and click import to import the domain now i have created a proxy for open search dashboard using the same solution which i'll use to log into open search dashboard This looks good. And now we're ready to start importing the logs from our retail website. The website that we have contains few books and a toy in the product catalog. The interactions that we do create traffic and logs that we will monitor using open search. So the first component we will pull the logs from is CloudFront distribution. Now let's go back to centralized logging console and navigate to AWS service log and create a log ingestion. We will select CloudFront as the source and choose automatic method for configuration. We will select the current account and it will bring us the list of the CloudFront distributions that are available. We'll select the one for our web store, select the standard logs. Now the solution offers out of the box log processing and enrichment features such as adding location fields for IP addresses and browser agent information all automatically. We will then select the open search domain that we want to send the logs to and ask the solution to install a pre-built dashboard for CloudFront. The solution configures underlying open search index template, sets the shards and rollover configuration by itself. I'll use the default options provided the solution can also configure index lifecycle to move data to lower cost tiers such as UltraWarm if you need to retain the data for a longer period of time. And once done, our CloudFront index should be available in our open search domain. There you go. Now we will simulate some traffic by generating CloudFront logs using an option in our application. Once the logs are generated, we can navigate to OpenSearch dashboard to see our new shiny CloudFront dashboard. Now this whole process from importing the domain to getting the CloudFront logs shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. We will continue ingesting log from our other services so we can correlate the events between the parts of the application. Now, the second component is Web Application Firewall, which is configured to block suspicious traffic from reaching our application. We'll follow a similar visitor to create the ingestion. The solution will pull us the list of WAF ACLs that we want to monitor in our account. Once we select that, and we will select the open search domain 
and ask the solution to install a pre-built dashboard for web application firewall as well. Once the login session is active, we can go back to open search dashboard to see a new dashboard for WAF is installed. The WAF dashboard offers various metrics such as number of requests, traffic levels, number of requests blocked by the WAF. You can also see the details of each request as well. We do have filters at the top. If you wanted to filter based on certain attribute or field, let's say we want to see the block request. So we'll select the action block and we'll filter the request that were blocked by WAF. Now our final AWS service that we will want to pull the logs from is RDS. Again, the steps remain the same. You pick the database instance from your account that you want to pull the logs from and select the types of log you want. And the solution will automatically install a dashboard which contains useful RDS metrics and ability to view slow queries that are received by RDS. We will sim simulate a couple of slow queries And there you go, it's got picked up by our dashboard. And you can actually go and see the actual query that is, uh, that is slow. Now we will move our attention to our custom application logs. In our case, we have two microservices running an EKS cluster, Nginx and Spring Boot service. First, we will create what is called ingestion pipeline, which will create a buffering layer for nginx log we will select the pipeline that uses kinesis data stream as our buffering buffering layer and we'll create another ingestion pipeline for spring boot and this time we'll use s3 as our buffering layer this is where we will collect the logs from our application before pushing into open search. We will select the bucket that we want to pull the logs into. Now that is our ingestion pipeline. The second step is to create log processing configuration. Now, or, or, or simply called log configs here. This is to define how the logs need to be processed. We will define one for Nginx. Now there are a few log types that are supported out of the box. Nginx is one of them. We will provide an, a, a regular expression to, to allow it to parse the logs. We'll test out with a sample log line to see our field values are getting parsed properly. That looks good to me. I'll go next. And then we'll create another one for Spring Boot. And Spring Boot is also a, a log type that is supported out of the box. We'll test out another uh, log line to see if the Spring Boot logs are processed properly. Now we've got our configuration and ingestion pipeline in place. Now we will move towards EKS cluster. We'll first import the EKS cluster that is hosting our application. Once our EKS cluster is imported, we will, we will create what is called log ingestion. We'll create a log ingestion, which is basically a configuration for a collector. We'll create one for Nginx. We'll provide the path that the agent will pull the logs from and the configuration that it will use for processing the logs. This will complete our pipeline all the way from collection to buffering and writing to open search dashboard. We'll create another one for Spring Boot. We'll pick the pipeline for, for, for Spring Boot 
I'll put provide the path. I'll select the configuration for processing. Now, once done, we can ask the solution to create a Kubernetes manifest for these agents automatically. Now, the manifest contains configuration of two Fluent Bit containers here that will pull the logs from our configured path and put it put it into the the pipeline that we created, one for KDS and one for S3. Now, one container will pull the logs for Nginx and the other one will do it for Spring Boot. What we can do is we can just take that generated YAML file, copy it into um, a file and apply it to our Kubernetes cluster. And that should start our containers that will pull, that will collect the logs and start pushing it through the pipeline that we created. I will simulate some traffic again to see fresh logs. Now you can see the logs from each of our sources when we navigate to our dashboard. So this is WAF. This is CloudFront. Nginx and Spring Boot. Now for all of these logs, the solution has created dashboards. So what you can do from there is you can cherry pick the visuals that you like to put together in and, and create a dashboard of your own, just like the way I have done here. So this is the dashboard that displays the metrics from my application from CDN to WAF to all the way to RDS database. Now, if there was a problem in my application, I can quickly jump into this dashboard and drill down into the into the component I want to dive deeper. And that concludes my demo, and thank you for watching.